G'day. We humans are obsessed with the number 10, we matters of counting and arithmetic. That we think about, we work with, we visualize all our numbers in a base 10 system. We have ones, we have tens, we have hundreds, ten tens, and thousands, ten hundreds, and so on and so on. In fact, the number 1302, for example, is literally 1000. There it is. Three hundreds. There they are. No tens and two. Two ones. 1302. All right, so let's have some fun. Let's do some arithmetic on this number. Suppose I was asked to triple it. What would I have to do? Well, I would literally triple everything I see. For example, this one dot here would be tripled and become three dots. This dot here would triple and become three dots. This dot triples becomes three dots. This dot triples become three dots. This dot over here also triples and becomes three. And this final dot triples and becomes three as well. And now I see the answer is 3,906. 1,302 tripled is 3,906. Great. All right, now let's get crazy. Let's see if we can now do this backwards. Pretend you didn't see this beginning question. Suppose I just gave you this final answer. 3,906, there it is. And let me ask, what got tripled to give me this answer? That is, can we do the multiplication backwards? Now, most people call doing multiplication backwards division. 3,906 divided by 3. What got tripled to give the answer 3,906? Can we work it out? Well, I look at this picture and say, OK, what got tripled? Well, I can see right here, a dot here clearly got tripled, and a dot here got tripled, and a dot there got tripled, and a dot here also got tripled. And over here, I see a dot got tripled, and another dot over there got tripled. In fact, I see that one dot in the thousands place, three dots in the hundreds place, no dots in the tens place, and two dots in the ones place got tripled. 1,302 is what got tripled to give the answer 3,906. I can just see it. We've just done division with a picture. This is fun. Let's do another example. What's 426 divided by 2? What got doubled to give this picture? Okay, I look at this and see, oh, a dot here got doubled. A dot here got doubled. Clearly a dot there got doubled as well. A dot over here got doubled. Another one over here got doubled. In fact, a third dot over here got doubled. In fact, I see that two dots in the hundreds place, one dot in the tens place, three dots in the ones place got doubled to give the answer 426. 426 divided by two is 213. Do you know what? It is, we did it. Okay, there may be a hiccup in this process. For example, consider 416 divided by four. What got quadrupled to give this picture here? Okay, so I'm looking for dots that got quadrupled, groups of four. And in fact, I see right now there's a dot that got quadrupled. Great. Uh, I see over here a dot got quadrupled. Awesome. Except now I'm feeling stuck. I don't see any more groups of four. I don't see any more dots that got quadrupled. We have a problem. So I need to think about this for a while. Are there any more groups of four in this picture? And I realize, oh, oh, this is a base 10 system. Dots here are worth one. Dots here are worth 10. Dots here are worth 100 and so on. But in particular, this dot here is worth 10. One ten is the same as ten ones. I can actually rewrite that dot as literally ten ones. Here they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Now people call that uh, regrouping or sometimes they call that borrowing. People who know me from exploding dots know I call that an unexplosion. Unexplode a dot and make ten dots back over there. But the advantage of that is I get to see more groups of four. There's a dot that got quadrupled. There's a dot that got quadrupled. And there's a dot that got quadrupled. I've got it. I see dots that got quadrupled. In fact, I see that 416 divided by 4 is 104. 104 got quadrupled to give you the picture there. We did it. Awesome. People say to me, James, this dots and boxes approach is great. I really see, literally see what's going on. But do I really have to draw a dots and boxes picture each and every time I want to do a division problem? And the answer is no. If you do these pictures for a while, these pictures start to stick in your brain. But you start just drawing the pictures in your mind rather than on the page. For example, let's do this one. Let's do 402 divided by 3. What got tripled to give this picture here? Okay, but let me show you what I really do on the page if I'm doing it with pencil and paper. I won't draw the picture, I'll write something like this instead. Here's 402. I can be a little strange to write the divide by 3 underneath, I'll put a big bar, and I'll write an equal sign there. In my mind, I have this picture in my brain. 
Okay, okay. So I'm doing, asking what got tripled to get this answer? Did any dots get tripled in this picture so far? And I say, well, yes, amongst these four dots here, clearly one dot there got tripled. Oh, three into the first four dots. There's one group of three amongst those four dots. One dot got tripled. There's one dot left over, and I don't see any more dots of triples anywhere. Okay, but, but, I have one dot left over. I can unexplode. I can actually create more dots. One one hundred is really the same as ten tens, so let me redraw it as ten tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I had no dots there, but now I have ten dots there. I had no dots here, but now I have ten dots there. Now I'm going to ask, are there any triples amongst those 10 dots? Oh, there's a group of three, there's a group of three, there's a group of three, three groups of three. Three dots there got tripled. Grand! How many groups of three amongst 10? There are three groups of three amongst 10. And there's one dot left over again, which I can use to create more groups of three. One 10 is really the same as, I'd explode, 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've turned those two dots there, now there's an extra 10, makes 12 dots there. Okay, any more groups of three in that picture? Why yes, a dot here got tripled, a dot here got tripled, a dot there got tripled, a dot there got tripled. I see four dots there got tripled. How many groups of three amongst 12? It's four. Ah, I see that 402 divided by three is 134. 134. 134 is tripled to give 402. There's the answer, 134. So there's the process without drawing that picture on the page, but I'm actually seeing it in my mind. The invention of place value is one of humankind's greatest intellectual achievements. And this is but a tiny taste of the power of place value throughout the entire K-12 curriculum and beyond. Check out the Global Math Project for so much more.